What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So the run of where we left off, we were ambushed. Badly ambushed by the Russians. And this might not be very, very good for us. Um, considering we are already depleted. And it's an ambush! So let's get ready. I am Hopefully they have all deployed on one side. Well, I'm going to have to... Uh, be a bit cautious and try and take that into account. Take into account that they may they may deploy everywhere. If the enemy is well, it doesn't matter. Attack, it is often a good idea to let them come forward and tire themselves through marching. Get my general in the centre and these guys deploy my dragoons to engage their hussars. I am going to lose my guns it looks like, some of them at least. Understandable. Charge the general staff. Go try go for the general staff. You guys go mob these guys. Let's bring my infantry to bear. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Very, very good for us. So let's rotate slightly in this direction. Continue the drive into their cavalry. More or less everywhere. Just keep smashing into it. Let's start to knock out some of their artillery. You guys form up to try to provide some fire. Sir, your general has been killed. This oh. is a black day. It's gonna happen eventually. Good, go straight on to the next set of guns. These guys charge up. I can afford to leave these guys behind a little bit. Get my howitzers out of the way. I, I should have realised they are my howitzers, it's too late now. They're running. Get the dragoons into their hussars so they don't do so they aren't complete butts. Oh god. Yeah, it's a big Prussian wave of <laughs> Oh wow, everyone's just gonna rout, okay. So I may... Oh god, this has gone very badly wrong very, very quickly. Okay, everyone. Everyone who... Oh, I can't, I can't retreat anyone. Oh, yeah. They just swept onto me far too quickly before I could get my artillery set up. Sorry, General. At least it wasn't one of the ones I liked. Oh, this was bound to happen sooner or later. Oh, that was 
very, very brutal. 57th. Still exists, so let's attack the Dragoons to at least... Let's charge in to provide some sort of... Defence for our troops to try allow as many of our men as possible to escape. So who's remaining? The dragoons and this single unit of infantry that's wavering against the dragoons. I mean, I probably didn't deploy very well, but at the same time, because the battle starts immediately, there's only so much deployment shenanigans you can actually do. This battle is almost done. It is indeed done. Wow. That was... What? Close. Close. To be honest, as long as my army's not defeated, it's okay. Whoa, that's pretty badly defeated. Oh, yeah, you are donezo. In which case, then, that means we can recruit a new army. I'm probably going to want to recruit it here. So let's get some... Ooh, two Dragoon Guards. And let's get a unit of lights... So I don't see why I want experimental howitzers over regular howitzer. Experimentals are a bit cheap, but I'm going to get two howitzers. Some nine pounders, and then let's get a unit of foot guards, eh? Unit of riflemen. Cool. And then I'll start, then I'll pick up a new general and when it becomes available. But yes, this army, I'm afraid, under Wilbur Bradley, I don't like your art. I do hope you go for Innsbruck. That would be very, very nice. You're en route. But your, your job is going to be to get towards Vienna. The guns are going to go to reinforce Venice. Good, 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 good. Cleves is okay now, so diplomacy... Kingdom of Belgium. Region. Should I offer Frisia? Frisia? Do you have any tech you can give me? No, but I'm going to offer to give you. National Census. At any time during a conflict, so I'm going to do this. this option to request that an ally joins the war that you're fighting. <sighs> Why are you not joining my war? Uh, join, see if you can join my war against Prussia. I mean, I'm giving you nothing for it, but... I was going to give you territory to help me fight my war against the Prussians. And you turned your backs on me. I think I go up here. Oh no, actually, I remember Heinrich Schneider, Schneider. So I want to pull you back, really. So I've wasted a turn of movement there. You're here ready to move Stettin, Michael Stowell. You're ready to, to flee in the next available opportunity back across the channel. Um, well, I'm at Oldenburg. You can't really leave just yet, and that's okay. Prussian fleet on the way, so where's my nearest useful fleet? It's probably this. Maybe it might be up here. Uh, it's Carronade Frigate, so this frigate force up in. Uh, is it Bergen? Stav Stavanger, not Bergen, that's probably miles away. Let's capture the Carronade Frigate. Uh, let's get them back into port and let's upgrade you to a steam dry dock in case I need to get you to upgrade some ships. Or to build some ships. Let's get you replenished. Okay, so what am I try? Open. Join war against. And if I give you. Frisia and Cleves. Cleves. No, nope. if you won't go join the war, if I give you both of them, then you shall have neither. I think that's a fair motto. I've been neglecting my infrastructure. 
most against character. Or do I just push in now to counter it? I think I might do. Come here, Gotlob. Arthur Wellesley wants a word. <laughs> At the very least, it will prevent them from going back into hiding and ambushing my two armies as they make it through the purse. So it might have been an expensive lesson, but it does mean we can recruit uh, another army, and at least it wasn't one of my favourite generals. So I'm okay with losing, losing a general there. So there, yeah, they're hunkered down right at the back. So I'm going to group my six pounders and my nine pounders, so I don't get confused as to what their capabilities are. Four, five. Then a one flank, two, three units of foot, and a Highland foot can go on the right. On the left, three units of two units of foot, a unit of King's German Legion, and a unit of light foot. Dragoons in the centre, general in the centre, howitzer in the centre. Start a battle. So my howitzer is going to try and get up to here. Although to be honest, that'd be quite a fun place to put some artillery. So maybe something like this. And the howitzer behind it. Then I'm going to want these guys to come and secure the, the I can't think of what I would call that, the centre of the channel. Same out here, I'd want you guys to move up to something like this. Then these guys that are on the extreme right flank, you're going to be even more extreme. And push up something like this. My nine pounders on to find posi get position up on this hill. Wellington come up in the centre, cavalry will go on the left in case they try to flank around here. Good. And then let's speed up time a little bit. Because it's a long way. Particularly long way to for our, before our guns are in position. But if they decide to drive and attack me, then they are weakened. Because at least our army did not go down without a fight. Sort of. <laughs> okay, you might stay here in case their artillery is within range. Very nice that they're spending their time fidgeting about. Same with Wellesley, let's get him under cover. My guns will be in position in not many not much longer. Warehouse, farmhouse. So what might have to happen is these guys might end up peeling back, peeling back around if these guys either come up to this ridge line or push around the edge of it. Um, but the main thing is making sure that I get my my guns get into position because then they will tear them a new one as they should. Of course, when we ambush someone, it's it's a fantastic strat strategic maneuver. When they ambush someone, it's a filthy, dirty German trick. My generals is having a bit of a party. Good, hauling their guns up. 
I mean, I've done no measurements, but I'm going to assume they'd be within range. They're my six pounders, so they should be within range for that. My howitzer in the hand it might be a bit trickier, but the trouble is one of the responses they might do when I start shelling them is they might attack because they know they can't compete. So let's unlimber the howitzers to see how they do. They might be able to just hit this front rank. Oh, actually, no, they're pretty good. It's pretty good. Unlimber, unlimber. Look at that. This is a beautiful position. Because they can't attack it unless they pierce through our line here and come up and around. Here comes the shelling. That's right, you take it, you dogs. Scurvy dogs. And these guys are all going to go for their guns. It's barrage. Good, you scumbags. So at least we'll soften them up. So if I'm ending up having to advance through this bottleneck, this seems like a, a lovely defensive position. That's what I'd like, where possible, to push up on the flank. Good, they bounced over the second regiment of foot. Good, that's one of their guns destroyed. Oh no, that's their only gun destroyed. So these guys only have one more team. The cavalry is going to suicidally charge. Starts target. So the infantry, although they are pulling back, spoiling my fun somewhat. 14th Regiment of Hussars has had enough. They're going to charge into the mighty 8th. Get ready, men. One volley, and that'll see them off. Okay, so these guys are going to charge. Because I'm going to want to do something akin to this. And really start to shepherd them in. Because I don't want to push up this the centre of this flank, really. But I will. If I have to. So I'll move him up to block this channel. Move these guys a bit further up to block here. Some Dragoons coming in. If they can charge straight into them. Okay, let's halt. And these guys will all... You just form square, just out of safety, as will you. And you will continue to run around this combat and ignore it completely. Yeah, that's just too much of a detour to come all the way around here. a detour but it might be a, a worthy one to at least bring two infantry units up over the shoulder of this ridge I 
Although it looks like that he may be... He goes form square. Let's bring up Wellesley. Let's bring up the, uh, the cavalry. run these guys into position let's begin to push up into the center okay now just form square again these men are going to be engaged by my Infantry in massed volleys. This then my six pounders. You keep just firing at the centre. Yep. They're giving us this opportunity to push up the middle. So we are going to do so. That out that flanking maneuver seems a bit silly now. Okay, so let's push you guys up to more like here. So these guys can advance up to the top of this ridge. You guys run up into point blank range. Oh, you're engaging, you brave little unit of musketeers. Because you're about to be engaged by everybody. I'm not scared of you, Prussian dogs. Hidden. They haven't got hit. So it's not the most efficient use of firepower, but it's it's still enough. Careful, Wellington. They have. Ah, they're going to try and do the old charging trick again, are they? Ah, can't stand up in a battle line, can you, Prussia? Bring my cavalry in because they're gone. redeploy like that straight away so my cavalry can just go straight in oh it's not gonna make a difference you guys go straight in you guys go straight in our oh, cavalry run into the spikes dang it uh, even when I was so careful about running keeping my keeping my general out of the way everyone get in Let's 
turn off all my artillery. So where is my cavalry? There it is. Don't fire, just charge. They're all the way back there. Let's quickly continue it because there's not there's not very far for them to go, so let's just speed up time a little bit. We've got a bit of revenge against that Prussian staff to replenish and we can move up our other army into the gap to prevent them from being able to ambush us. But yeah, it's not bad. We've cut their stack in half. Oh, they've not lost that many men. Get into the forest, into the logging camp. Good. Gives you a bit of an opportunity to maybe escape. You were going to infiltrate Munich. Ah, he spotted you. Howard Hood. I'm curious to see if you attack, because we are defending. We are ready for you. We are equipped. you got artillery, but we should be able to absolutely massacre you in the breaches. Heroic death, George the Dreiberg. Sad face, but at least it wasn't Wellesley. Or... Is this John Moore? No, this is Bob Crawford, as long as it wasn't them. Yeah, you're ready to attack, but let's hit end turn. Oh, have I doubled up on spies? I have doubled up on spies in that area. If I can pull that stack back, then I'm probably going to sit them in Strasbourg and they're going to form up a secondary army to be ready to hit the Russian. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh no. Auto resolve. Yeah, we did a good account. Wilbur Bradley. <laughs> Do I want to intercept? Should I should we screw it? Oh my god! That was a great trade. Harold Broom, sorry you died, but holy hell. Oh, so laid siege to Oh, Swedish or oh, Swiss Swiss fortress. Oh god, and they are moving large amounts of forces that way. Oh, and they're also engaging us by the sea. I'm gonna pull back because the positioning wasn't so good. Nope, don't hit the ambush. Nope. God, they're pumping troops out of Vienna. So we're going to hold in Switzerland for a moment. Oh, Agent detected. That's my guy. Yep, you still keep going. Full the mines. Where are you? Yep. Build that up. Or oh, do I just go straight for Berlin? Because this guy's currently running around trying to figure out what to do. John Moore's there. So if I put him, park him on this bridge. Okay, well, firstly, let's pull Michael Stowell out and get ready to deposit them back in Copenhagen. Successful mission, Charles Hamilton Smith. Yeah, we've got. See, we've got two, two agents in there, which is a bit overkill. Sabotage army. Suspicious death, Bob. What? They killed Bob Ross! Oh, Charles Philip Belson, steady under fire. Ne new general next turn. Damn it. 
It's tempting to go for Stettin to help intercept. Oh, no, I think I'm still going to just go like this. Because knocking out Berlin will be make, will make the biggest difference of them all. So I think that's what we're going to do. It's going to be the baptism by fire for Charles Philip Belson. And yes, it should be quite a nice battle because they have no artillery or cavalry. Well, they have one general's unit. Um, but anyway, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the assault on the Prussian capital, Berlin. Cheers, guys.